So Darren, a businessman, is getting to work, 8 o'clock, about to walk in the door of this office building, when he hears this siren, and his ambulance comes screaming around the corner, stops right in front of him, and they start putting him on a stretcher, say he's going to be all right. Finally, he gets through to him, hey, there's nothing wrong with me. And Ray goes, really? You're not having a heart attack? And Darren goes, no. And Harry goes, well, okay, sorry about that. And they take off. And later, 8 o'clock at night, Darren's put in a long day, and he's making a little extra money putting in a couple more hours, making that easy censorship money with an impersonator of yours truly, Stone Cold John Milton Brady. And yeah, he has a heart attack. And they go, Harry and Ray stop again, 8 o'clock at night this time, and pick him up. And he goes, how'd you know? And Ray goes, oh, just a coincidence. We got a call. It's a it big mistake. Don't worry about it. And after they drop him off at the hospital, they go, oh, man, that no when has got to get better handwriting. That, that sure looked like an 8 a.m. instead of an 8 p.m. Yeah, no when is, uh, they think he works for the cops. They do know that he always seems to know when something bad is going to happen to someone who has been going against the top of the street in the way of their work. Get the one and only Stone Cold John Melton Brady his money, resources, and attractive young ladies so he can do his work properly. That's always where my fiction leaves off, guys. When you call 424-229-0911, can't reach me. Don't know if you reach 911 in an emergency and that's not newsworthy. Neither is the censorship of my mail. Mail to me. Certify those letters to me. That's where the fiction leaves off. And, yeah. I, I didn't have my Harry and Ray. I had to use Bang. Come see me in person. Tell me what you think about Bang or Harry and Ray. Street Justice Paramedics. You have to. I'm being blatantly censored.